So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be looking at algebraic manipulation and focusing on simplifying expressions where we are multiplying terms together. Now algebraic manipulation involves several algebraic topics and these include collecting like terms where you're adding subtracting, expanding brackets, factorizing so into either single brackets or double brackets and simplifying expressions where you're multiplying and dividing. Now in this what we will do we will continue from collecting like terms whereas in that particular topic you are simply adding and subtracting terms and numbers together and in this particular video we'll be looking at what happens when you're multiplying numbers and algebraic terms together. Now when you are multiplying there is one key rule that you need to remember and that is that you can only multiply numbers with numbers and letters with letters. Now although this is the next thing is also mentioned just later on the screen the general rules of algebra is that when multiplying numbers with letters the numbers go in front so for example if you're talking about three buses notice how the number three comes before buses and also when multiplying letters with different letters try and write them in alphabetical order. So if we just have a look at some of the basics, so here we're looking at 3 times 4, which is just simply 12. A times A is known as A squared. A times B is just AB. A squared times A to the power 5 is involving um, indices, in which all we do here is we add the powers, so that will be A to the power of 7. X times X squared times T cubed, well they're going to be different letters, so all we need to do there is just simply merge the two things together so that'll be x squared t cubed 3 times a so multiplying numbers with letters again that's just going to be 3a and 5 times t squared is going to be 5t squared so again another rule of algebra is that we don't use the multiplication symbol instead we just simply merge the two things together and again when multiplying numbers with letters the numbers always come in front and when multiplying letters with the same letter they then turn into powers in which you add the powers together and when you're multiplying letters with another different letter then try to write the letters in alphabetical order regardless of what their powers may be. So let's have a look at some example questions. Now here none of these questions involve the letter x although it may seem like and this is one of the reasons why we don't use the letter the multiplication symbol in algebra but however all of these symbols that you can see are multiplying they're not letters of x they are simply multiplying so let me just highlight each of these multiplying just so that we're not getting confused and again generally this is one of the reasons why that when you're using the letter x in algebra you tend to write it with kind of like a curly x like two c's uh, in different directions so for example if you talk about the letter x try and like, write it like this whereas when you're multiplying which again is not banned just write it as the normal x so just remember that this here is the letter x this means multiply so let's have a look at some of these questions then. So again, we've got quite a lot of examples, but we'll try and go through them. So if you want to have a go at these questions before I go through it, then by all means, feel free to pause the video, answer the questions, and then you can check your answers as I go through them. So with number one, we've got A, B times C. So again, all I need to do there is just simply, I've got different letters. So that's just going to be A, B, C. And again, the letters are written in alphabetical order. Number two, I've got two times A times B. Well, that's just going to be two a B 3 well that's going to be D times C times 5 so again the number goes in front and I've got C and D which I'm going to write in alphabetical order like so now again if you were to write 5 DC or DC 5 DC 5 just seems weird and um, however if you wrote 5 DC technically it is correct but again you always want to try and make sure that you write them in alphabetical order so going back to the questions number four we've got eight and then we've got f times f which is f squared so again because I've got a common letter I just simply I can write using powers for number five we've got n times n times n well that's just going to be n cubed then moving on to question six I've got a b times a times b well I've got looking at the a's now a b is the same as a times b so again it's just a case of collecting the like terms if you wanted to what you could do is with question six that means a times b times a times b and again what I could do is rewrite that grouping all my a's together and my b's together now a times a is a squared and b times b is going to be b squared now would you need to write all of this working out 
Oh, let's not use pink because that kind of just defeats, uh, goes over. So this would be the working out needed for question six. However, with practice, you probably will be able to do this in your head and you can go straight into the answer. Question seven, we've got three times, well, looking at the numbers, I've got three times four, which is 12. And then looking at the letters, I've got W times W, which is W squared. For question eight, I've got two F, and oh, I've got two times now. Two F is basically two times F, and seven W is seven times W. So grouping the things together, I've got two times seven, which is fourteen. My three letters are all different, so all I've got to do is just remember my alphabet. So I've got F, J, and W. For question nine, I've got five and another five, so that's going to be twenty-five. I've got U times U, which is U squared, and I've got a V. Then looking at question 10, I've got 4R squared times R. So I've, got, I've just got R, and then I've got three R's all together. So that's going to be R cubed. And then moving on to question 11, I've got 5 times 9, which is 45. I've got K times K squared, which is K cubed. And I've got an L. I don't know why I've changed that to a T, so let me just get rid of that. And let's write my L a little bit better. Okay, number 12. I've got three times y, uh, three times three, which is nine. I've got x, I've only got one x, that's just gonna be x. And I've got y times y squared, which will be y cubed. So the power is basically telling you how many of that letters you're multiplying by itself. So question 13, I've got a, b, so that's gonna be a times, well, I can write this out in long ways. So I've got a, b, c times a, c times four. Well, that's the same as a times b times c times a times c times 4. And again, grouping all of those things together, looking at the numbers first, I've got a 4, then I've got a times a, which is a squared. I've just got a single b, and I've got two c, so that's going to be b squared. Looking at question 14, I've got 8 times 3, which is 24. I've got d squared times d, which is d cubed. And I've got e times e, which is e squared. And then finally, with question 15, I've got, looking at the numbers first, 7 times 9, which is 63. And then I've got, looking at the s's first, I've got s squared and 1s, so that's s cubed. And then looking at the t's, I've got t times t squared, which is t cubed. And there is my final answer. Now, another type of question you could get is something that looks like this. So in this, what we need to do is we need to fill in the missing boxes like so. Now obviously I've got the things in the yellow boxes in terms of my column headings and my row headings and these are what's being multiplied now. When dealing with these types of questions you want to try and fill in the yellow boxes first. Now so if I look at this one first now this is what I've got so in terms of I've got to multiply see what do I multiply 3t by something that gives me 12t squared. Well, looking at 3, well, I've got 3 times what gives you 12? Well, that's going to be a 4. And I've got 1t, but I want t squared, so I need another t. So the heading for that row is going to be 4t. Looking at the next one, so looking at this one here, and this 3s, uh, which I can't sort of highlight, so let's just go over that black. So here I've got 3 times what gives you 9, well that's going to be a 3. I've got 1s, but I need s squared, so I'm going to need another s. And I've also need a t, which this hasn't got, so that must, miss, that must mean that the t is there. And then looking at the next heading, so let's have a look at this one here. So again, I've got 6, but I want 12, so I need another 2, because remember we are multiplying, not adding. And then I've got s squared, and I've got an s squared, so that then is just going to be 2. So I kind of rub that out and just leave that as a number 2. And then finally, looking at this one here, I can see that the heading above has just got one single s. So think about what wall do I need. So I've got 1s, but I want s squared, so I need another s. And I need t squared, so that means and I've got no t's in that column, so it must mean that the t squared must be the heading for the row. Now, once I've got all of these, all I then need to do is just fill in the gaps in the middle. So here I've got 4 times 3, which is 12. And looking at the letters, I've got ST. Looking at S times 40, well, I've got, that's just going to be 4ST. 
and 4t times 2 is just 8t. So again, you can only multiply numbers with numbers, letters with letters, and common letters become powers, whereas different letters just merge together and you write them alphabetically. So looking at this next one here, I've got 3 times 3, which is 9, and then I've got s, and I've got 2t's, so then it becomes t squared. Looking at this box here, I've got uh, 3, so that's the only number. I've got s times s, which is going to be s squared, and I've got a t. And here I've got 2 times 3, which is 6, and then I've got the letters s, t. Then looking at this box here, I've got 6 times uh, 6 s squared times 3 t. So 3 times 6 is 18. s squared times t is s squared t. Moving on to the next one, so this one here, I've got 6 times 3, which is 18. And I've got s squared times s, which gives me s cubed. And then here in the next one, I've got... 6s squared times s, well that's going to be 6s cubed. Then fun looking on the final row, I'm going to have 3st cubed, and the next one next to it is going to be 3s squared t squared, and then finally I'm going to have 2st squared, and there is my final answer. Now we'll put some notes and some practice worksheets in the description below for you to practice everything that's covered in this video.